Hey everybody, John with Mash and Ash, and today I'm going to be enjoying and reviewing the Undercrown Maduro Flying Pig. Now this is an incredible cigar. If you can see the incredible texture of that Maduro wrapper, it's a, it's a wonderful cigar. I've had one before. Uh, I thought it was really great. I love the pigtail on the end of it. Now normally you can just pull the pigtail off and you'll have uh, a pretty decent draw, but I, I like to hedge my bet and I cut it just in case. Um, but today we're going to be reviewing the Undercrown Flying Pig. Hey, thanks for joining. If you like reviews on bourbon, whiskey, or cigars, just living a good life, traveling around Florida and the United States with my lovely wife, Sid, uh, this is the place for you. We would love for you to like and share this video. You can find us on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Rumble, and even on Odyssey. But today, oh, I get to share and enjoy with you this Undercrown Maduro Flying Pig. Now, this is a 60 ring gauge by 3.94 length Figurado. And I, like I said, I love, I love this little pigtail at the very end. It's just cute, which I guess is where it gets the name Flying Pig. Now this is a San Andreas Negro Maduro wrapper with a Dominican Habano binder and uh, Nicaraguan and Brazil filler. So that's uh, what this is. What we're gonna do is we're going to get this cut. We're gonna get lit. We're gonna start enjoying it. Not a bad draw, not a bad draw, but I'm going to uh, cut it just a little bit uh, to get a little bit cleaner draw out of it. I think that's going to be, oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Right off the bat, you get that wonderful Maduro flavor. Got some spicy, got some sweet in there as well. Oh, this is great. It's got a great flavor. Oh, I, I love Maduro cigars. Uh, I started out smoking uh, lighter gay cigars, as many of us did. Um, but as I matured, I started really enjoying the, the more um, darker cigars. And uh, this is already, starting out great. So we've got a great little ash on the end of it there. Pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy a little bit more of this. Once we get to the first uh, third or so, I'll let you know how we're doing. Well, since this is a very small cigar, uh, I've gotten to almost a third. And first of all, the ash looks amazing. It's very, very well holding, holding together. Uh, it's a bit breezy today. You know, we're in the middle of summer here in Florida, so it's not always very uh, breezy. But every now and then a good little gust comes through, moves the flowers, uh, but it hasn't affected the cigar one bit. It's, in fact, got a little hole at the end of it, uh, which I think is just primo, uh, being able to keep that draw consistently through the cigar. Uh, I'm definitely getting some wood overtones on the first third. Um, there have been talk of, of some cherry sweetness that I'm not getting. Mm, mm. But I am getting a little pepper. I'm getting some dark flavors from that Maduro wrapper, but the filler and the binder on this. I mean, I love Nicaraguan filler. I love Nicaraguan cigars. I think uh, one of my bucket list trips is to go to Nicaragua to visit a couple of the uh, the cigar plants, but uh, just to, to go and watch the people uh, who grow the tobacco and, and, and take care of the leaves and then roll the cigars and then sample some cigars in Nicaragua, I think would be a great, a great experience. But this Undercrown Flying Pig, whew, definitely the very, very first time I had one of these, I was at a local cigar uh, retailer in uh, Tampa and uh, I had one of these. This is one of my first post-COVID cigars 
and I remember the flavor jumping out of that cigar, and uh, it, it married pretty well to the to the bourbon that I was drinking as well. But uh, this is not that type of review, so we're going to uh, stick with just the, the cigar. It was so good, I went out and immediately bought a box. And this has been sitting in my humidor for uh, a couple of months now. And the flavor is just incredible. I remember it being as good today as it was back when I had my very first. So we're gonna keep smoking this one. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna wait till the half or we'll just get towards the end. And I'll come back and I'll let you know how this uh, cigar is ending up. So we're about halfway through and uh, I have to tell you a funny story. Um, I don't know if you've ever played Ash Roulette, uh, where you have an ash that could stay or could go. Uh, and I mentioned the breeze. Uh, I had my uh, wonderful flying pig in my hand and I was working on something. I'm, down below me is, is uh, my laptop, my MacBook. And uh, as I started to put it back in my mouth, a little gust hit and ashed all over my keyboard. So guys, practice safe cigar smoking. Uh, but the ash still is amazing. I mean, it's very solid. It's, uh, it's just an incredible cigar. I mean, there's so many great cigars. Uh, there's so many amazing cigar producers. Uh, Drew Estates with their different series of cigars. Uh, there's only been a couple Drew Estates that I really didn't like. Um, not because they were bad cigars, they just they just didn't fit my flavor preferences. Um, but these Flying Pig Maduros are definitely winners for me. But uh, be careful, kids. Those ashes, they gravity gets them every time. Well, we're getting towards the end. We're getting to the point where my fingers are starting to burn just a bit. Uh, still a pretty good burn uh, line. Uh, I haven't had to do any adjustments with the lighter. It's been very consistent, but you can see where it's starting to get to the, the point where my fingers are getting very close. Uh, so we're coming towards the end. I think I got a, about another few minutes on this cigar, but it started off very woody, very peppery. It transitioned to a little bit milder, milder wood, the more traditional, you know, darker uh, Nicaraguan flavor. And I think that Brazilian in there as well uh, started to step forward a little bit. And now it's just, you know, a full bodied, you know, flavor that is consistent and reminiscent of other amazing Maduro cigars that I've had. Uh, I am not the guy that's going to give you all the different flavor notes. It's just not what I can do yet. I'm still developing my palate. Uh, retro helling is not something that I really enjoy yet because my sinuses are still out of whack from COVID. But uh, I could tell you this, if you're looking for an incredible cigar and you've only got a, a short amount of time, like I think the cigar uh, still has some room to go and I've been smoking on it for a good 40 minutes. So this is a great lunchtime cigar, uh, reminiscent of like some of the, the Oliva Nubs. Um, this is a, a great uh, cigar. Now, I have not tried the Flying Pig, uh, the Undercrown Shade Flying Pig. I want to, I love Connecticut Shade wrappers. Uh, but this is uh, a flavorful, full-bodied cigar, would pair well with any whiskey or bourbon, but since I'm on a lunch break, I'm not gonna do that. But guys, from start to finish, it's a great cigar. I think I would probably rate this a eight and a half out of 10. Uh, you know, if I had a little bourbon to go with it, I would probably rate it a little bit higher, uh, but it's great. Love Undercrown, love Drew Estates. Uh, I, I'm a fan, I love what they do. I haven't had too many bad ones. Uh, so guys, go out, your, go out and grab yourself the Flying Pig Maduro. Get yourself as many as you can, let them sit in your humidor for a little while, and then enjoy them as much as possible. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this review. I hope that it's helped. I hope that it's encouraging. I hope you had some laughs along the way. Don't ash on your MacBook. That's going to be fun to clean. Uh, but guys, if you'd like more of these reviews, you can find us on TikTok. You can find us on Instagram. You can see the full videos on YouTube, Rumble, 
and Odyssey. I'm John with Mash and Ash. Cheers. Long Ashes.